Hey what is up everybody so for today's episode I'm going to show you how you can install ECG and blood pressure application on your Galaxy watch and the process for the watch active 2 is pretty much the same but I will make a separate video for that pretty soon to avoid any kind of confusion. This is an updated version of the previous video as I was getting a lot of messages from you guys. The video will be to the point and in order to have a successful installation watch the video till end and if you haven't subscribed till yet make sure to do that as it helps and motivates me to make a lot of videos like this and this method at least for me is working on a samsung based phone you can try on non samsung ones as well but i don't guarantee it will work on them first of all we will start with ecg and to install it you need two applications one is a modified samsung health monitor without any country blocking issue its link is down in the description and once again thanks to Dante from XDA for the files. The second file is the TPK installer and this will install the ECG app on our watch. Before installing make sure installation from unknown sources is enabled both for the phone and for the watch. For watch you need to go to the wearable application here, scroll down to about watch and toggle the install unknown apps. And for phone you need to go to settings search for install unknown apps here select wearable application and toggle it on all right now we have to go to our download folder which has the downloaded files first i'm going to install the modified samsung health monitor app and secondly i'm going to install the ecg installer tpk you will also see a notification at the top saying transferring file please wait which means your file is now being transferred from phone to the watch after some time the ecg app will be available on your galaxy watch just open it up and follow on screen instructions you can now wear the watch and take ecg reading that you can also share with your doctor in the form of a pdf Okay now coming on to the blood pressure app it's kinda tricky with Samsung's latest implementation with firmware but I will try to make it as simple as possible. So in order to use BB application you have to get a certificate for that bp.tpk installer file and to get a certificate you have to install Tizen Studio, Java and some CMD commands are required as well. It's a lengthy process and I will link the XDA method on that in the description of this video. The second method that I have is kinda easy as compared to the previous one and it involves just changing the region or CSC to Korea KOO. Here I have two Samsung Galaxy Watch 3s with identical model number which is SMR840. Ok so one is with the USA CSC and the other one is with Korean CSC. Here CSC is different for every different country. It's a way from Samsung to determine that this watch belongs to this country and we have to push these specific features to this country. Also I hope you are not sleeping till now. So I am going to change the region of my USA watch to Korea and in this way I will get ECG and BP together on my watch. But at the same time I was not able to see Samsung Pay on my watch so if you use that a lot I would recommend changing the CSC to UK which I think so has Samsung Pay and also you can use official ECG and BP as they are approved in the country. Anyways coming on to the point of changing the region we have to download these four files. One is combination firmware, the other is stb tool folder that we will use to change the CSC. Next we have the stock firmware and finally we have the Wi-Fi Odin that will be used to flash the firmwares. Before starting we have to make some changes on our watch, go to settings and here select about watch now click software and tap multiple times on the software version now the developer mode is turned on go back and turn on debugging mode now we have to enter into the download mode to flash the combination firmware for this press back and home key at the same time also make sure the model of firmware files are same as of your watch model like SMR840 file for SMR840 watch and if your watch is not listed you can contact me via email which is mentioned in the description for file request with a little fee or you can yourself check for the files at easy firmware website they are paid as well 
after going into download mode you have to select download wireless option and you can do that by pressing power key after selecting it just long press the power key to enter this option and here you have to double press the power key to activate the ap mode now your watch is acting like a hotspot you can see the model of your watch in the wi-fi section of your computer just select it and now after successful connection the net odin will turn green if it does not turn green make sure the firewall is turned off and also you can restart your computer your watch and repeat the process although chances for that are very less if you are following the steps correctly now select ap and choose the combination firmware file and hit start wait for some time and let the watch boot up after the watch has booted up go into settings and here select connection select wi-fi and choose always on make sure you are connected to the same wi-fi as of your pc now scroll down here you can see the ip address just note it down after that reboot your watch by long pressing the power key after the watch has rebooted it will automatically connect with the same wi-fi to which your pc is connected now you have to go to sdb folder on your computer here unzip the desired version i have windows 64 bit so i'll unzip that now go to data then tools and here select uniscon and now enter the following command sdb connect and enter the ip address that we have noted on the watch next enter sdb root now root mode is turned on and finally we have to enter the pull commands to pull the files from the watch you can copy these commands from the description of this video here i'm entering the first pull command and now the second pull command here the two files are now pulled from the watch the first is active csc customer and the second is prod code just open the active csc customer and enter the desired command or the csc i'm using koo which is for korea and now open the second file and also replace the last three digits with your desired csc and save the file here i'm again using the koo for getting that bp after we have replaced the csc we have to push the two files back into the watch and to do that we have to again use push commands once again they are in the description of the video here is the first push command hit enter and this is the second push command and finally hit enter now we have to again enter into download mode on our watch by pressing the power key and the back key at the same time after we have entered into download mode use the same steps to turn on the ap mode and again connect your pc with watch now you have to use the stock firmware file which i have provided in the description of the video Put them accordingly in AP, CSC and BL folder and hit start. Now just wait for the watch to complete the process and after it has successfully booted up you can see the Samsung health monitor app with both BP and ECG feature. Now simply you have to install the modified Samsung health monitor APK provided once again below. And that's it. Just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go to record the ECG and BP on your Galaxy watch. I think the benefit of this method is that whenever the watch will get a software update your ecg and bp files on the watch will simply get better instead of that certificate file that will remain the same on the watch with time and talking about the application on the phone as of now it is working but i will keep updating the links in the description for any updated app that comes in future of course that will be a modded application to run in any country without restriction so guys, I hope you liked the video and don't forget to comment down below in the comment section. I read all your comments and explain your experience with this method. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.